It's called Rockin' for Charity, and its goal is to provide love and support for children through what they call love, leadership, overcome value, and empowerment. And they took time to bring some bright smiles to cancer patients with a simple change of clothes. NBC6 reporter Erica Glover explains. Giving back this holiday season, one Miami teenager says we can all make a difference in our community. She's only a freshman in high school, but that doesn't stop her from thinking big and giving her all for hundreds of patients at the Nicholas Children's Hospital. Rolling through the halls of the Nicholas Children's Hospital is a very special delivery. I was six years old and thought it would be really cool to have a charity, so I kind of just named it Rockin' for Charity to make it fun. Do you want to see the superhero one? Lynette Marie is a freshman at Carrollton School of the Sacred Heart. And she's not much older than Marlon Bustos. Basketball, the superheroes, which is Captain America, and monkeys are his big thing. You'll quickly see that these patients are the reason Lynette and Ashley Isaacs are rocking for charity. You have no idea when you go into a hospital room that's so sterile what one piece of fabric can do. I like this one. You like this one? I love Lady Rose. One piece of fabric quickly turned into hundreds when this nonprofit organization got its start nine years ago. Today's all about you. You get to pick whatever gown you like. Lynette and Ashley say they cannot believe just how much their charity continues to grow. I've had so many moms actually call and ask for me to make gowns for their children that have childhood cancer. Attention to detail. More than one hour goes into making sure these gowns are just right. I say all the time, if you got up and put your sweats on, you would feel like you're in your sweats. But whenever you get up and you put on a suit and heels, you feel like you can conquer the world. And for these kids, that's exactly what it is. Just ask Brenda Trantham, whose six-year-old daughter is in traction rods, undergoing treatment for progressive scoliosis. To be able to be with her in this moment means everything to me as a mom, and I know that it's also helpful to her in her recovery. A table full of kids, each painting a different picture, all sharing a common bond. For people to look at their kids, as a child and not just as a sick patient is a huge thing for these parents because they are kids. They're kids no matter what. It's not about just the moment, it's about the feeling that they get after. But sometimes those with the most strength say nothing at all. <laughs> and the shine in his eyes, that's something, it's priceless. I don't know, it's beyond words. Giving hope, giving back, pushing forward. There's always a light that maybe it's a person, a smile, a little thing that can change someone's day and give them strength. Thankful for the little things that surely go a long way. To find out how you can get involved with this organization, check out rockinforcharity.org. In the studio, Erica Glover, NBC6 News.